On this first problem that I'm going to go over, it's a very basic problem. There's not a lot of different operations to do. So I'm going to look at the problem and determine what's in there first. I've got an addition sign and then there's a multiplication sign. So looking at our chart, there aren't any parentheses, so we can skip that. Next, there aren't any exponents either. So coming onto our chart, the first thing I need to handle is the multiplication. I need to do the multiplication first. So this is the section that we're concerned with. 12 times 2. 12 times 2 is 24. I'm going to actually cross that out so that I don't accidentally do it again. Then, I just need to bring down the rest of this problem because it's still a part of the problem. We still need to do that. So we are going to go ahead and add 9 to 24. And when you go ahead and you do that problem, 24, you are okay to use your fingers if you need to. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Your answer is 30. Three. Pretty easy problem. We're going to step it up one notch and we're going to do a similar problem with an additional step and an exponent. Okay, let's try our second problem that we were going to work on. This one, you can see, it has an additional term in it and it also has this exponent. So here's where we're going to have to remember our exponent rules. That this exponent tells the base how many, how many times to multiply by itself. So, let's check our problem to see what order we are going to follow. I do not see any parentheses or grouping symbols. So I'm going to go next, right to that exponent we just talked about. 3 to the second power, you might hear it also called 3 squared, really is saying 3 times itself. So you write the 3 two times. 3 times itself is 9. I'm going to cross that out so I don't accidentally mess with it anymore. 3 to the second power is 9. And then I need to rewrite the rest of the problem to determine what is my next step. I'm going to try and change colors with each step so that it's easier to follow. Next. The operations that I see, I have a multiplication, I have an addition, and I have a subtraction. Well, looking up here, it is my multiplication that comes next on the chart. So the proper order to solve this, I'm going to be looking at multiplication next. Which will be 4 times 9. A lot of you know the number tricks with 9. If you have 10 fingers up and you put the fourth finger down, you will have 36 as your answer. 4 times 9 is 36. We're going to then rewrite the problem. So looking at this now, we have 36 plus 8 subtracting 16. The operations that are in this problem is addition and subtraction. On here, you see that addition and subtraction are right on top of each other. And they're listed as the same color. This is telling me that they are opposites from each other. They kind of have the same power. Um, we're going to do them in order looking from left to right. So it's not that you always do addition first. It depends on the order. So we need to stop and we need to look left to right which one comes first in the problem. So starting here and looking this way, I come across the addition first. 36 plus 8 is 44. And then I'm going to rewrite and I'm going to have subtracting 16. 44 take away 16. There aren't any other remaining operation, so we're going to go ahead and write our answer here as 28. So this problem's a little bit bigger, so I do want to go back over it. We started with our exponent. 
3 squared is 9. We rewrote our problem. Next, we're going to do our multiplication. 4 times 9 is 36. We rewrote the problem. And then once we added, we had 44. Subtracting 16 gives us our final answer of 28. It really helps out if you write down each step and you kind of narrow it into your answer. The remaining problem, the last problem, is going to have exponents, the multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, but we're also going to introduce grouping symbols underneath the parentheses. So we will move over a little bit more, and then we will do that final problem. Okay, for this last problem, as I promised you, we now have the introduction to parentheses along with the exponent. My chart's covering it up slightly, but this is 5 to the second power. So, there's a lot of things to do here, a lot of things to consider. So we look up at our handy, dandy PEMDAS chart, and parentheses is where we're going to start. So we're going to jump inside this parentheses, and we're going to do whatever occurs in the parentheses, which is 1 plus 3. I'm going to ask that you cross it out, and you write that answer 1 plus 3 as 4, and rewrite it, because we've moved down a step. So you do want to rewrite it to keep organized, and so that if you make an error, you can look back very easily. In addition, on my test that I give, you must write each step down to receive full credit. If you do it in your head and you just give me the answer, I'm not going to give it full credit. I'm only going to give it half credit. So you need to kind of train yourself during this practice phase of rewriting on each step. Because with homework and with practice, it's okay to get it wrong. It's okay to have some confusion, but we're going to try and kind of work through that. So by the time you get to the quiz, which is um, upcoming this, let's see when it is, Friday, Friday the 5th, you're going to be ready for it. You are going to be ready and you are going to know the way that I expect it. So back to this. Let's see here. We have 8 divided by 4 times 5 squared subtracting 2. We have done all of our parentheses. And now we're going to go to the next letter, which is E for exponents. 5 squared is saying 5 times 5, which is 25. Make sure you rewrite that problem. So we've got 8 divided by 4 times 25 take away 2. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look in this problem and I'm going to see what operations we're dealing with. I've got a division and a multiplication and a subtraction. Looking up here, division and multiplication come together. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to look left to right. Which one comes first in the problem? The one that comes first in the problem is division. So 8 divided by 4, as we all know, is 2. Cross it out so we don't use it again. Times 25 take away 2. We have multiplication and subtraction. We're still on multiplication, so let's go there. 2 times 25, if you had 2 quarters, it would be 50 cents. So it's 50, take away 2, gives us our final answer of 48. If you have any questions, come to class on Monday, ask me some questions. We're going to be doing a lot of Board of Operations within story problems next week. So please, 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 please email me or ask me a question in class. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye.